Ivan is a potent long-distance killer, saving the lives of our people, while many kilometers away the enemy is being torn to shreds. With a range of some 40 kilometers and a suitable variety of projectiles and fuses, the G5 is capable of pulverizing the most determined of defenses. An efficient crew can deploy the gun ready for action in a mere two and a half minutes, and a single gun is capable of hurtling three projectiles a minute at a given target. For the men behind the G5s, working the weapon is a rewarding but trying task. Well, it's a tremendous thing. It's a up thing. It's a but trying task. Well, it's a tremendous thing. It's a up uh, sitting there to bulle, and um, the whole bulle just shakes when the bang goes off. And how feel it as it's going? It's something you can't even tell me. And it's shock and stuff and the rock is very dark. The explosion, the force that it gives off, is tremendous. The ear can't even hear it. This is a real drug that you can't even hear. Yes, Alex. So yes, the gun we were trained in previously, the G2, um, that wasn't as bad as the G5. This has got a tremendous blow on you. On the receiving end, the effect is devastating. And according to Battery Commander Major Theo Wilkin, it is not only the killing and maiming that tears the opposition to shreds, but equally horrifying is the paralyzing effects of high explosive shock waves. It totally immobilizes the target, and you get a total uh, neutralization uh, of the target uh, while the um, engagement is going on, and for a short while after that as well. description of the G5 given by Jane's military review reads as good as anything in the Western world and in some respects even better the self-propelled G6 is lauded in a 1987 edition of Jane's Defense Weekly as one of the best artillery systems in production as speedy mobile and maneuverable as the rattle this vehicle can move with the mechanized forces over and into any terrain, thereby boosting all the good qualities of the G5 with maximum mobility. As the G6 halts to fire, outriggers are pushed down to stabilize the vehicle and save the suspension. And 60 seconds after stopping, the first projectile is blasted on its way. Also figuring prominently in Arms Corps' artillery arsenal is the Valkyrie 127 multiple rocket launcher, the performance of which has relegated Russia's Stalin organ to something of sound and fury but signifying nothing. With a range extending from 7,500 meters to 23 kilometers, this MRL's high fragmentation capacity provides a killing area of some 1,500 meters when used against troops who are in the open, in shallow trenches, or soft-skin vehicles. <laughs> 